with us. So I was thinking about it. I, I'm a fan of Live from Studio 6B. Yeah, I've been watching that. Yeah. So I, I was thinking, I was thinking, how could it would be nice to be able to do something like that? But that's a full time job. You got to have staff and everything. Yeah, so the, them, the Drinking Brothers. There's a bunch of people so what, that use that same format. So we're, we are the uh, pre recorded from Studio 503. That's who we are. <laughs> yeah, we don't do live. <laughs> if we did live, what if we just went live? We well, should try that sometime. You know. Yeah, and I've. There is an opportunity for us to interview Santa Claus if we could figure out how to get the Zoom thing running. So we could interview somebody via Zoom, but there again, we need the audio video part of it so we can run Zoom and capture the images and the voice and everything. Don't right. you got somebody? She's in New York. She's got a phone. She, no. could, she could coach you through it. See? Okay. I've heard her talk to you. Yeah, she does talk <laughs> to me like that. Well. <clears throat> so technically, we all we need is a, another laptop, and then we record through that. As far as I can tell, that's really throwing okay. it into the mix. You, you would... Um, she'd have to tell me how you set the plug in for... You know how I set the plug in. Curves it a little bit. It's like per, it's like Peroni's only. You know, you're it's like NASCAR version of Peroni's. You're going 400 <laughs> miles an hour to the left. Anyway. So anyway, Studio Six B. What are we talking about? Well, I was talking about the the show live from Studio Six B, but we're pre-recorded from Studio Five O Three, the Reaper. <clears throat> Reed Brothers. Warner, Brothers. Warner, 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 Warner. <coughs> All right. Yeah. And uh, that format's not bad. It just depends, but we don't have – I don't have the time to set up a teleprompter, and we, none of this is scripted. So that's True. that's the other thing. It's It's naturally funny because we're shooting from the hip all the time. I don't know how much – Ha ha! We would get out of a contrived, unless unless all of a sudden we're writing via consensus and we're approving our scripts and then running the scripts through the teleprompter kind of stuff. Doing doing the Fetterman approach, put a run it run the the uh, see. I just had a Fetterman moment right there. <laughs> run the teleprompter off of somebody's iPad, <laughs> and I, nah. I I don't know. I don't know. I think just uh, having something worth talking about and talking about it. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we throw the stuff just off the cuff and run with it. Which I think is Sometimes funnier. we say things that just are don't, that they just don't work. <laughs> yeah, we've, all we've always been we've always been guilt uh, we've all been guilty of that. Uh, the other thing is I had somebody say like you guys are all over the place and I'm like, you know, in terms of topic cuz we will start with one thing and it just kind of we take this long winding road and we may cross and hit that path again but flow of consciousness or if we get to the end and it's like what the hell was we talking about yeah what are we talking about oh yeah that's it and then we're at the end so somebody pooping on the towel yeah <laughs> it's always about nut sacks and poop See, I roll. I, I did a callback on two different episodes. <laughs> Somebody only po pooped on a towel once in one episode. That we're aware of. That he's admitting to. Allegedly. That's disgust. Any, any, any dreams lately that you feel like you need to share? No, not really. I'm dreamless. I have no dreams. So the Israelis have an Iron Dome. He's got a raccoon dome. <clears throat> Not anymore. <laughs> it was a it was a sad morning at Dwayne's house so how, for for Mama Coon. Coons how, in the school. How many chickens did you lose? Just one. One chicken. Just one. Yeah, the, the coon got in, but the coon couldn't get out. Mm. Isn't there an exterminator cartoon like that? Yeah, the roaches, ate one roaches. chicken decon they come in but they don't go out 
Yep. When I Roaches in check in, but they don't check out. Bingo. There we go. Raccoons check in. They don't check out. It checked out. It checked they check all the in. way out. They check in with the chick, and then that's it. Game over. Death. Don't come eat Dwayne's wings chickens. Death to trash pan. You'll be eating lead. The new world currency. Yes. For sure. Yeah, it'd be just as valuable as gold and silver now. So there was a discussion had yesterday with uh, Mrs. Johnny Ray, and we were talking about the. Cut. I was telling her about. I did not have sexual relations with I was telling her about. Woman. I got this book because this this chick was on WOAI the other day. Yeah. And it's it. She talks about what we already know, and so I was talking about you know there's the. <clears throat> buying gold and buying silver and then she's like well if it's if nothing means is nothing nothing's worth anything what's the point of having the gold and the silver and which i was like i didn't know how to answer that because it will never not be worth nothing because the elites are still going to have to have some form of currency whether it's digital or otherwise and if you're on an alternative let's say let's call it a gray market system and you have gold silver lead water gasoline whatever Mm -hmm. you you've got an alternate economic god dang it i did it again no you basically can barter with that you can well you can trade buy buy sell trade and well that's no that's when i i was started talking about the 22 calibers and i was like that's why i bought you know got six thousand Brown sitting there, so that, allegedly. that's my barter. That's my barter. Allegedly, <clears throat> allegedly, allegedly, yes. Allegedly. Well, I think the new world currency is going to be um, lead and brass, semen, not silver and gold. Well, I don't know. Apparently, it's kids because the Americans are fucking them, and the rest of the world's cutting their heads off. So, anyway, with shovels. That's just it's horrific, is what it is. That's how I cut the heads off the snakes. Yeah. With the shovel. I used a lawnmower. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to think about all this. Everything that's happened this week, it's just like. Well, they've got some magic fatwa about a day of rage or some crap. That's, that's today. To, yeah, that's today. today. It's supposed to happen today. Uh, so everybody's it was a, on a uh, full tilt boogie. Yeah. Uh, a global jihad. So. Jihad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, All that hummus. Oh well. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they get put in their place really quick. You know. Well, if we'd leave the damn Israelis alone, they'll take care of it for us. They are incentivized to turn that into a new inter- amusement park and just let them let them bulldoze the Gaza Strip. They they poke the bear. They are the, it, when it comes to the fighting. And I was doing some, you know, because I, I didn't, I didn't know a lot about them, you know, and I was just watching videos and, you know, trying to get some back history on some of it. And these guys, and based on what's currently happened, these guys, they, they don't, I mean, they're quick and decisive and deliberate. The Israelis. Yeah. And, right. and well, every time there, there's been a conflict, they have protected their ground plus gained more and more they gave the sinai back they took it from me and they gave the sinai back well here's a little interesting fact there's never been a palestine there's never been uh, an official chunk of land owned by the palestinians the romans did that crap way back in the day because they didn't want the name judea that there's always been an israel right always recognized by everybody this bullshit that they're talking now, especially that communist, socialist, terrorist, Tlaib. lover, whatever. I'm not going to say her name. Good job. The Good con- job. Congresswoman? Yeah. Yeah. That a, a senator. senator. Yeah, she's a senator. Is she, she a senator, senator or congressperson? She's, no, I think she's, she's a politician. She's, that politician person that got elected from uh, Michigan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Got or the, Minnesota. One of them. One of the M states. It was claiming that it, you know, that's, no, it's not. Palestine is, nor have the Palestinians been accepted by any other Arab, Islamic, whatever. You, nobody wants them. So the, the Israelis were doing them a favor. Here's your plot of land. Here's your gas. Here's, here's your, your sign. 
yeah, apparently here's your sign. And they sold it all and bought paragliders with it. And they're cooked. They're, oh, I'm, I know. They are. And Iran's about this close to getting a hammer dropped on them. They think they're squared away, but that I don't think that's going to play well, out that way. The fact that, um, the fact that Israel r- recalled over 300,000 troops. They recalled 100,000. 300,000 answered the call. Oh, okay. Is that what it was? That's exactly what happened. Yeah. And there was a, there, and I don't know if you saw it on the, a, one of the Israelis, he was, he fought in many, a lot of wars, but he's like 95. He put on his uniform and picked up the weapon well, yeah, at ni- age 95. Their back's against the wall. They don't, they, we're not, we don't need another crystal knock. Yeah. The, that's a, the Hamas thought they were going to be cool and it, no, that backfired. That's not going to work. And we've got an, an A class nuke powered carrier group sitting in the Western Med. Mm-hmm. You know that you you know what you can't you, you somebody's going to get the ass beat. Big they're, time. They're going to fuck around and try to throw something at one of those. Well, it's even <laughs> even you know. Uh, the prime minister, he he said basically, well, the Israelis gave uh, these Palestinians and every, all the people in Gaza, hey, you got you got it, you got it, x amount of time to get out, or you're gonna die. Done. And what did Hamas do? Stopped them. Stopped them from leaving. And then boom. So this is this is all of this is by design on purpose. And now Hezbollah hasn't really done much. I, I, aren't they talking to Israel's talking to Jordan today? I think, or was that yesterday? They're talking to the Jordanians, and that Jordan is pro America. The well, I think the the king of Jordan is married to an American woman, so I'm pretty sure. So, what? Yeah, I don't care. Well, the Jordanians don't mess around, so if they could do it at a minimum, they stop the bad guys from getting out and getting somewhere else, then that just helps the Israelis out. So Mm -hmm. they can contain, so that mess doesn't, you don't have another Arab spring. Well, the problem is, is if you're going to go back and uh, and think biblical times, the the Jews messed up, (laughs) Israel messed up, Hebrews, they all messed up when they were told to go in and do this and they didn't. So now you have Palestine. Not disputing any of that. I'm just saying right now, some Americans got whacked. More Americans got whacked than we've previously had a threshold for punching back. And we we had we thus far haven't really struck back at anybody because this feckless regime we currently have in power. Well, I was watching a video. There was a one. This pastor was talking yesterday and right now is what's ha- same thing it's happening uh, this is a biblical event that's happening right now and he's talking about how um i forget where it was at like corinthians or something like that that where it talks about the army coming in from the north coming into israel and the you know there's a good chance people what it was called mogab or mo uh, anyways um uh, megiddo no 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 uh basically this big army coming in from the north and you know and he's speculating because of what how it you know looking at today it would be russia coming in, in you know and uh, so well the and, chechens are moving into syria and, and then this this army would come in and this army would come in and they would be fighting and then that's when uh that's when Jesus comes and then they all get together to fight against him because they, they're dazed and confused and don't know what to do, you know. Well, we'll all see. All this premature speculation going on. All of the, it, we've been in the end times forever, so. For yeah. at least the last 2,000 years. 2,023 years, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh,. <clears throat> No, I tell you, one of the big signs to look for is when the temple gets torn down and then, you know, or the, the dome gets torn down and the temple yeah. gets rebuilt. And then when the uh, the Ark of the Covenant is, is revealed. Well, when you see that, then be ready. 
people you're sitting and there's somebody in the middle seat and they disappear and their clothes are left in the seat might be a sign hmm. two people were in the field <laughs> one was gone and one was still there but they're still talking about not in in with gaza and i'm going to get all my terms wrong forgive me but the until they tear down that 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 gold dome and rebuild the temple it's all just the well, same the, stuff that it's been for the last yeah many all years. that what well, you guys have heard about the space or not space earthquakes the the weird sounds that are showing up the colorado hum the new mexico hum the, i watched the, it on the y files the sky quakes and stuff yeah i was gonna say I, I had forgotten about that stuff and then they had that episode which i missed yesterday's by the way so, i fell asleep so anyway, there's these weird ambient noises that just come out of nowhere. And the the relevance of that is that some people think that it's the seals being broken and the angels trumpeting. Really? Leading into, well, we haven't seen Satan. We haven't seen the witnesses. We haven't seen the Antichrist. You don't right? know. That we're aware of. All right. That you know, uh, Mrs. Duane and I, we talk about that all the time. Who is the Antichrist? Well, if it's, it's going to be somebody very popular. If it's Biden. Somebody loved by everybody. It could be Trump. It could, could be, be. It could be. It, it could be. You know, anybody, but it doesn't have to be an American. It doesn't say it's an American, but. Uh, no, that's true. It's going to be. It could, it could be Trudeau. It could be. Uh, yeah, right. The I don't know. Satan in blackface. No. I'm just saying. We don't know. Well, it could be Jill Biden. We if just it's Biden, don't know. I'm completely underwhelmed. You'd it's not like, Joe. That's Satan. No, well, not Satan. It ain't Hunter. It's not Joe. It's the not Antichrist. Joe. It's not Hunter. Could be Hillary. Now, I not, could see Hillary being Satan. It's not uh, Hussein Obama. It's not Michael Obama. It's could be. Mike, Michael could be the Antichrist. The thing is, is whenever, whenever they're revealed, Allegedly. you'll be like, I can't believe it. Should've I love saying. that person. And it's the Antichrist. So oh, that's going to be go. that's that's big shoes to fill because everybody's got to like this person. He's going to be very popular. Yeah, very I'm not, popular. I'm not sure that's going to. I don't think it's going to be in our time. I think we're going to we're we're embracing a lot of suck right now, but I don't think it's. I think this is just one of those weird turns, like the last hundred years of the Roman Empire. The last hundred years of the Greek Empire, mm -hmm. this this stuff runs these cyclical routes, um, and they kind of fizzle out. Only Rome was around for two thousand years. We're we're barely breaking two and a quarter. Well, and the thing is, is I, I I think you know if uh you know you have this terrorist group that like they have their beliefs, you know, and well, and, and, one and, man's well, terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. Well, exactly, and so if somebody wanted to create that and say yes it's this is a holy thing they actually <clears throat> they just created it to make it that and make people believe it well, but they, is it real is it really the the holy thing or does the deep state want you to think it's that way did they did they finance and script right this popular stuff to scare the hell out of all the evangelicals it's entirely possible they they try because we don't know if it's true or not no, we don't. You don't. And I mean, at we, our, know what's, at, we know it's written scripture-wise, but that's not what I'm saying true or not. What I'm saying true or not is what's being told and how it's going about. Is it really true? You know, is it, yeah, you read it, and then now you're just like, oh, there's going to be a war happening, and this signifies this. Well, let's start the war, and then we'll tell everybody this is the way it's well, the, read. The Torah, yeah. the Quran, and the Bible all agree on just about everything. All the historical stuff, you can't deny it because all three books written by different people from different sects with different right. perspectives said the same thing about the same people. And But the, there's no timeline. There's no time. Well, yeah. How there's much no of it is? There's no hardened timeline. So, yeah. so these, these actors can create whatever they want when they want it and say, yes, this is what it is. Well, let's wag the dog. Yeah. Well, they're taking the written word and they're manipulating the, the, the contents. Correct. And putting it into their context mm -hmm. to manipulate all yeah. of us but all you do you know read the bible understand the bible know the bible 
uh, and then discern. Hey, yeah, and bear in mind the Bible is full of analogy, simile, and metaphor. It, very, very few pieces of it are literal. That's, so. uh, you know, that was the, uh, the language of the time. Everything was parables and mm -hmm. things of that nature. And I've got a beef with the current, the way the Bible is, because in when they held the Congress to elect which books are going to be in, they selectively removed a bunch of different books. Now, granted, some of the Gnostic and the Book of Enoch, and there was a bunch of written theological documentation that wasn't followed or wasn't popular and was voted out in Constantinople when they uh, my, the Congress of Mycenae Mycenae anyway was it Constantinople or Istanbul and I don't remember the next line Istanbul is Constantinople Istanbul is Constantinople been a long time gone ba 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 well played anyway um <clears throat> The reason they did those things was they're supposed to be the the you know scholars and so things that were written in these books they just didn't line up with any well, of the other things and it all the know. days previous to that Rome was pagan and the guy that's presiding over this was a pagan and then the following day he's now a Christian so it was it was socio political the same way it is kind of now in some places and even even our understanding of the bible unless it's in hebrew it's been changed there's been some poetic license because you've got the lutherans rewrote one of the, and the anglicans rewrote and then on and on and on and on and on and then the mormons just made one up and it changes <laughs> it does change they, every time they get a new leader they rewrite some stuff Leave the Pentecostals in there, and it'll be black, red, white, and blue. It'll be part of the alphabet community. And Jason begot Jason begot Jason. Read, brothers. Read, brothers.